All right, right here. Uh, first of all, congratulations on another win. I guess, uh, what are the emotions after a, a big stoppage win like this, especially after, you know, the face-off with Casey and she didn't, she, there was, seems like a lot of emotions on her end leading into this fight. Uh, thank you. Um, I'm really happy with my performance tonight. Actually, I'm really happy with my performance uh, this year. Um, I think it was my best, I, I think, no, I'm sure it was my best year in UFC, three wins in a row in a year. Uh, and wins uh, against Casey New. you know, she, she's a great, great fighter and she already fought a great, uh, with um, big names in UFC. So I was definitely ready for a war because I know she pushed hard, but I was like, definitely, I'm gonna finish her, you know. I, I knew I could, that, uh, I could do that. And I was like, I was expecting a win by KO, but I knew if I had the opportunity, I could submit her. I was, you know, I had improved a lot in my jiu-jitsu, uh, and I was really confident on my striking, and I wouldn't be able to do that just by myself. I wanna take my head coach, Renato Silva, my jiu-jitsu coach, Jasmine Rocha, my partner's training, everyone who made part of this. You know, it's not just by myself, it's just, uh, it's about the team. I've been working the way we find to work, you know, uh, work more private. And I do believe that uh, we, we, all the hard work and we find a way that works for me and we, we can see the results. Were you surprised at how, like, when you guys did face off, she seemed very aggressive. She was kind of getting in your face. And then even mm -hmm. after the fight, she didn't want to shake hands or anything like that. Were you surprised at how she reacted towards you? Yes, I mean, I watched some fight of her. I knew she's, she is that way, you know, she don't like to uh, shake hands or like, uh, I don't know how I can say like, you know, <laughs> yes, in, before the fight, but I wasn't expect she was, came so aggressive in, in the, in the, in the face-off, but that's the only thing I needed, you know? <laughs> the only thing I needed to, to really go for the, the, the fight and that's it, I was ready for that. And I know you said you expected to finish her, but even leading up to the finish, you were kind of dominating the fight. You know, you had rocked her, and then you took she she came in and tried to take you down. You submitted her. So were you surprised it, it, it? Were you surprised at maybe how easy it looked to us? Obviously, to you, it might have been a difficult fight, but yes, I mean, I'm not surprised. Like I said, I, w I was I was like I trained for that. You know, I trained to finish her. I, I knew she could feel my, she would feel my my hands. Because I punch hard, and all my opponents, they know that, and because of this, they always try to take me down. So I've been improving a lot, my grappling. So now I feel uh, more comfortable to show my strike, you know, to kick and knee and do everything, all the techniques uh, I've been training. And also I've been training my jiu-jitsu. I, I didn't show in my, my last fight, but I was training my jiu-jitsu, you know. So I, I mean, I am not surprised the way that look at is, but I knew I worked really hard with all my team, so I knew I could do that. And you mentioned, obviously, you think this is probably the better year for you in terms of, you know, three wins in 2023. So what do you want 2024 to look like? Are you now looking at specific names? Are you trying to get top 15, top 10? What would you like? Yes, I mean, I'm happy because I've given me this opportunity to fight against Casey who knew, you know, it's not just about ranking, it's about fighting against uh, opponents who have name in UFC and it will bring me close to my goal in UFC, so that's what I'm looking for the next year, you know, uh, good fights, good, uh, who has you no know, good names in UFC and will put, put me on the, on the top. Will you ask the UFC for specific names or will you wait for them to come to you? I wait for them. I, I just say, like, I'm ready, you know, and, and God's plan. Is there a time you would like to fight again, like come back to fight again? No, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I think, like, maybe May. I think it's, it's a good time. Ariane, when you're dealing with uh, several losses and when you were one in three, how did you keep your confidence up? Because obviously that could be difficult for any athlete when they're not getting the results. Yeah, so I had a really tough time I've seen the beginning of UFC, but like I already I already had this 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 kind of situation in the beginning of my career. Like in the beginning of my career I was like three loss and two wins. So I just keep in work, that's who I am, you know, I'm a fighter. And but when I came to UFC, you know, with a lot of high expect with a lot of hype and I didn't get and I I wasn't ready, you know, I wasn't in a good moment 
and like you said, I do not not have I have more loss than wins in FC. So the only way that I find myself will like find a purpose on what I do. You know what for what I fight, why I do this. You know, and I just could find a purpose when I find Jesus Christ. He, I I, I know what I'm doing. He bring me to be here. He give me this gift, and I just do do my best for him. You're someone who has a very large following online, a lot of fans. How important is that support? You know, win or lose, they're always with you and they want to see you do well. How big is that as an athlete? That's great. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky because I have followers and fans that, out, that really support me. I had really tough moments in UFC and they were, they were always there, you know, support me they, because they like my style, they like the way I fight, they see truth on what I do. And I feel really blessed because of that. I feel like, you know, I have the, the real ones. Ariane over here. This was your big, uh, this was your first uh, win via finish since uh, 2020. I guess, was that like a chip on your shoulder you've had this whole time leading up till today? Sorry, can you repeat that again? Was that like a chip on your shoulder you've had going into this fight to get a win by finish? Yes, I mean, I, I was looking for that. I was like, win is always great, you know, like it doesn't matter if by points, submission or KO. But I'm, I'm for sure have a performance like I had tonight. It's great. It's like just bringing more confidence and had a great year like I had this year in UFC. It's just like for sure I feel a little bit more, you know, it's light. I'm not uh, like feeling pressure, but... I mean, anything changed, you know, I'm back to the gym, I keep on working because I know every fight is different. And given that this is the best year you've had inside the promotion, like you just mentioned, was there anything special that you might have learned about yourself this year? Yes, a lot, a lot. Actually, last year, last year was like really tough for me, you know, uh, COVID and got injury and, you know, not good performance. So I learned a lot about myself to do not fight a with my body, understand, give the time necessary. Also, we find a way that works for me to train, like uh, more private, you know, with my head coach, my jiu-jitsu coach, my partner's train, you know, like more more personalized. That's the way that works for me, and I, we, we can see the results. Congratulations. Thank you. Right here. Uh, in terms of game plan tonight, was it important for you to go out there and get a good start against somebody like <coughs> Casey O'Neill, obviously coming off the back of uh, an injury and a loss over Jennifer Maya? Um, was it important for you to get a good start in this fight and take that confidence away from her? Actually, I, I, I feel like it's everything about time. You know, like I, like I said, I, did, I have my good and bad moments in FC, and now I feel like I'm in a, gr a great moment in FC, and I knew she was like, she had, a, like you said, the injury, and she got a loss and another injury, so I was like, you know, she's not in the, her best moment, for sure I'm gonna take advantage of this, but like, it doesn't mean that I didn't train it a lot for her, because every fighter is different. There's, there's fights that came with a little bit less confidence, but the others fight, they came like, I'm gonna really train hard and get the win. That was happening with me when I got a loss. I just came better. So, you know, when you cannot see like every fighter is the same. Every fight reacts different in the different way. So I was ready for like, okay, she's in a good mo moment, but she's gonna <coughs> fight for that. So I, I must be ready. Thank you. Congrats on the win. Um, right. okay. the, you know, sometimes when fighters have somebody hurt or like, oh man, I can get him, I can get him. It's harder to keep that composure. How were you able to do that? And or what was the key to say, you know what, instead of trying to finish her with the punches, let me just work my ground game and get a submission here. Yeah, that's something that we've been working a lot because before, I mean, I, I punch hard. My opponents always feel my hands, but like, so, because I was too young, I was like going to rush for the finish and they used to take me down, you know, and they was like, they grabbed me. So I, I lost some, some opportunities in, in, um, in some fighters because of that. So now my head coach has working a lot, like go easy, you know, find the right time to, 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 to finish her. And we finally, I think now I finally understand how to make that. <laughs> you did great, it looked amazing. You're in Las Vegas, uh, we've had five fight fights, fight finishes. 
maybe someone's getting a bonus. How do you guys celebrate this weekend? Uh, I hope so. I hope we get this bonus. No, the <laughs> my coach wants to, I go to the Rolly Cross in, in the hotel. I don't want to go. I'm enough of emotion. I'm enough. Okay. Uh, I want to enjoy eating chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, eating pizza, eating, enjoy my family in Brazil, rest a little bit, and back to the gym as soon as possible. I love what I do. I want to improve. I know I have more things to improve. And that's it. I'm so grateful. I just want to enjoy my, a little bit with my family and thank God for everything he, ma he has made in my life and back strong for the next year. Sounds excellent. Congratulations and Happy New Year. Thank Obrigado. you. Thank you. Obrigado. You're done?